wrongfully executed. More than two decades after the US state of Texas killed this man, a study reveals he was innocent. We take a closer look at the case of Carlos de Luna and what it says about capital punishment in the United States. In 1989, Carlos de Luna was put to death for stabbing and killing a petrol station cashier. They say his conviction was the result of a poor police investigation, unreliable eyewitness testimony. Their report concluded that the murderer was Carlos Hernandez. Uh, the main reason why the death penalty should be abolished is because the human factor. And that factor is going to continue to play out as long as we have the death penalty. Because we all, as being human, we're going to make mistakes. And mistakes are going to be made. That 12 juries, just because it's 12 people, doesn't mean that 12 people can't get it wrong. They can. And they can because the human factor. You know, we see it all the time in a baseball game. The guy slides in the second base. But on further review, he was out. That man can go back to the dugout. But with the death penalty, you can't bring a man back from the graveyard. Executed 234 death row inmates, more than any other governor in modern times. Have you, have you struggled to sleep at night um, uh, uh, with the idea that any one of those might have been uh, innocent? No, sir. I've never struggled with that at all. The state of Texas has a uh, very thoughtful, a very clear process in place of which when someone commits the most heinous of crimes against our citizens. They get a fair hearing. They go through an appellate process. They go up to the Supreme Court of the United States if that's required. Uh, I, would, I would completely disagree with that analysis. I would completely disagree because one execution of a wrongfully a uh, convicted person is one too many.